linear equations example two. All right, now with these ones, you're going to find that you're going to break the rules of step four a bit to solve them. So um, let's put a circle around it. We're going to break these rules a little bit. And you're allowed to. You're allowed to break the rules of Sam Um you, you have to be careful with it. Um, steps, we're not going to break the rules for steps two and three, though. Okay. So what we're going to do um, for question A, and what you'll find is you've got a pronoun on both sides. You've got 2t here and 4t over here. And um, this, this makes things a little challenging, a little difficult. So what, what we do when this happens is, well, first of all, we can start off how we normally start. We can get rid of the 7. That's perfectly fine. We can plus 7 on both sides, which cancels the 7 out. Um, giving us 4t equals 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 2t. And this is where things get a little difficult because we've got this 2t here and this makes it quite impossible to work out if we follow our, our normal steps. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to subtract 2t. And that will completely get rid of the whole of 2t. But remembering like what you'll notice is in step two, it says add or subtract both sides of the equation by the same number or term. So what we're actually doing this time is we're subtracting by a term instead of a number, which is perfectly fine to do. All right, now this will be fine because 4t minus 2t is 2t, leaving us with 2t equals 10. And now it becomes quite basic to solve because we can divide both sides by 2, leaving us with t equals 5. All right, so let's move on to question B, which is similar in that it's got a y on both sides. But the first thing I'm going to notice when I look at this, as you, as you know, no, we'll start off like normal. I'll talk about what, I'm, what I was about to say soon. We'll add the 2 first. All right, because that'll, that'll simplify a little bit y over 3 equals 4 plus y. Um, in fact, let's just keep going. Let, let's do it again. So we, we're we going to subtract the y because we really don't like having a y on the right. Okay, and we're going to subtract a y on the left. Now, this is where it gets difficult because it's quite difficult to go y over 3 minus y. So what I'm just going to do I'm going to just write it like so. I'm just going to go y over 3 minus y equals 4. So basically written it the way it looks above. And I'm just noticing I'm, I'm really going to rub, run out of ooh, room here. So I'm going to have to move things around a little bit. Give ourselves some space. Okay. So what I'm going to suggest here, it's kind of a little trick. It's going off course a little bit. It's not quite following the sand process. I'm going to times everything by 3. I'm going to times by 3 because that's going to cancel the 3. Now, the rule we learned was whenever you multiply or divide, you do it to all terms. You don't do it once on each side. You also do it to the y as well. So you'll soon see how this is going to help. So we're going to get y minus 3 times y is 3y and 4 times 3 is 12, which just looks a bit nicer. y minus 3y is negative 2y. And now we can divide by negative 2. And that will give us y equals negative 6. 